G'day guys, it's been a minute. Got a few changes. We're now running a BT100. This is a version 1, I believe. They're pretty common in Australia. We've made a hydroformed expansion chamber. Now this is based um, specifically on the exhaust port duration um, of this motor. So this is completely stock, hasn't been ported or even opened. We have modified the carby as well. We've high floated it, which means raising the Venturi about a millimeter in there. And that definitely helped with power. Um, we have been seeing the tyre slip on the rollers above 7 horsepower. So we'll try to fix that today. I'll put a bit more weight on the back and uh, see if that helps. But uh, yeah, we'll run this up on the dyno now and we'll see what it's making. It should be about 7, 7.5 seven horsepower now. See how we went. All right, we've got three curves here. The green curve, uh, 6.73 horsepower, and that was the stock carb with the jetting set as best as we can. The red curve was after we high flowed that carb um, and we re jetted again. It's still a bit rich up top. You can see those small dips. That's when it started four stroking, but I think we're well beyond what this little uh, Bofeng carb can flow. Uh, we had a few people saying these numbers were bogus, blah, blah, blah. Show me your engineering degree. Um, what we did was grab a 125cc pit bike. Now that has a Lifan engine, which is known to produce about nine horsepower. The manufacturer says 8.7 horsepower. And so does the seller of the bike on eBay. Anyway, we ran that up on the dyno and we got 7.41 horsepower. So that uh, sort of puts us in the right ballpark. It doesn't confirm 100%, but um, this little uh, 80cc bike is making as much power as a 125cc pit bike. So the restriction now is clearly the carburetor. While we wait for the VM18 to arrive, which is an 18mm Venturi carb versus the 14mm in this stock Bofeng, which should uh, fatten up the midsection, maybe an extra horsepower, and bring the RPM a little bit higher again. 10,000 RPM is already pretty good for a stock motor, but um, we'll see how we go with a bigger carb. Anyway, in the meantime, we've redesigned the stock air filter cover, and this design here has two intakes on the left and the right facing forward, so it's sort of like a ram air intake. We've dyno tested this and we didn't lose any power. It did run a little bit richer, so you need to rejet, but I think it's a much safer idea than running no cleaner at all. We've put the STL files up on the motor bike forum and I'll try add the link uh, down below if I can, but I think there's still restrictions on my account because it's uh, still fairly new. All right, I'll see you in the next video.